friends uh, let's proceed further with one more uh, tool that i have uh, come across and that is uh, called as the voyant uh, see through your text now you see even if you are scared of using uh, our environment ide or uh, let's say python programming or other one here is a uh, one particular uh, tool uh, which is called as voyant and that has been uh, used exclusively for the digital text which are available for us so voyant tools is a web based reading and analysis environment for digital text basically and i'm just going to show you and if you remember the song of mark uh, where uh, you know he keeps on saying the girl says hallelujah now here is also something the moment i got introduced to it i said hallelujah uh, so you know that's how it goes about hallelujah for me now let me just show you very quickly before i can work out with one of the uh, text basically and here they're asking you this is a um, example to see and you yourself will say hallelujah all by yourself so here we go this are the shakespeare's plays and you can open it up one two fetching and there we go so you can see you get the word cloud you don't have to worry uh, what you're getting <laughs> and each and everything here we go and uh, you can change these ones this i'll be explaining to you how to use this particular thing then the reader 1590 loves label loss like i love shakespeare's literature like i think i'm a mad person the more i read it i don't know i keep getting new new ideas and so here it is uh, one of them and this is the trend you know i'm more interested in these kind of um uh, things that are available and trends just see the kind of colors that they are using it now if you are quite serious about your text analysis these kind of a trends uh, i mean thanks to the developers of this particular tool that they have given us uh, so much to understand now for example in this one also if you really see the reader there's a lot of things which are available go ahead and click on terms berry and see if you are able to get something out here these are the terms with no how can you i mean what more you want from the text tell me that now here you can see that the word mistress has been used 795 times and in uh, how many documents 33 documents now uh, i mean even if you give me to individually do for each of the shakespeare's documents which are present i will go mad i know it's impossible for me to do it however with this kind of a thing which is available to me i think i can uh, play with the entire thing which is there for me and i can really uh, look at i can increase the number or uh, decrease it and you will see how the things are taking place so it is very user friendly number one you can go ahead and uh, again if you want to increase increase it now you can see See the dynamics of it, how well it is changing, and what it is coming to you yourself only. Now, this is what I say <coughs> is something which is a perfect online tool for me for the basic um, textual analysis, rather than going into the depth of it. That's one thing. Now, if I go ahead and press the reader. now i was looking for these graphs to be highlighted and i'll show it to you later on as to how these can be and what the colors means and how to interpret them also side by side now if i just scroll little bit more the summary part of your text you can um look into it over here okay and uh, this is the summary of the entire documents that is there for example longest is 1599 hamlet 32396 it has already given to us 1593 richard king richard 3 now if you know a little bit about uh, shakespeare's uh, works then you will understand that these are the one then 1608 uh, coriolanus then you have got 29485 1610 cymbeline so many times king henry 4 so many times shortest is is the comedy error now you see when you are teaching uh, these uh, kind of stuff to the students or make them understand which i'll show you how to uh, use some of these tools even while teaching you know your teaching becomes much more better and that's why i thought okay let me go ahead and um 
upload a video for the basics of the text analysis which is available and how nicely we can go forward uh, you know sometimes when i see the questions being raised out uh, you know can somebody tell me how to proceed further with the text analysis you don't have to worry there are certain tools which are available online and depth of it has been given and this is one more thing if you look more this is the serious kind of a thing then terms you can uh, it is going to give you see the term the count the trend also is available now that's the best part of it because uh, till the time i don't see the visualization just numbers will not do there has to be that amalgam between the number and the digital you know the entire environment looks wow kind of a thing then you can um, further you know if you want the links which are there you can even click on that and just see what you are going to get for the link so links will also will be uh, provided here we go okay, this is the network like you can have a look and see shell lord uh, uh you know where it has been used for example in henry it's being highlighted then in richard it's a little bit less then you can even go ahead and you can understand okay so these are something that i have showed to you reader and terms very we have understood basically and if you want to replace it with another tool for this one there are other thing i'm just giving you the orientation of voyant right now so that you are able to understand how to use these things for your text analysis and even for the content analysis this comprises of the text analysis as well as the content analysis in the beginning itself if you have got the documents and you really want to get the uh, basics to be extracted uh, the information that has to be extracted at the basic level start using it and nothing will happen to your data or anything in fact it is there and um, similarly for the document terms i'm just showing to you the simple one like term sir it has been used for 53 times relative is to uh, uh, i mean i told you right content analysis has got this one conceptual part and the relational so here you have got this kind of a thing what else are you looking for now for example if i have to really understand the reports for the sustainability of a particular company now i am able to understand uh, this is what i would say at one level of the analysis and this is the univariate analysis in the qualitative domain or the textual analysis where you are able to get and you are able to understand and side by side the relative information is also being shared with you so this is uh, some part of it and if when if you come for the bivariate kind of an association with the terms here we go so here you have got lord term 2 is shell and correlation so they they are defining this is a measure of how closely term frequencies correlated using now have a look at it using what Uh, Pearson's co uh, correlation coefficient or a simple regression scores approaching they have given to you the complete uh, details scores approaching one mean that term frequencies vary in the sync so they have given to you the complete information you can read it or when i'll be entering into the depth of it you will see yourself how to understand similarly with the significant now this is the measure of the significance of the correlation value often significance of 0.5 now those students uh, i would say if you give uh, introduce this particular tool uh, to the students at the post graduation level at least they will get the basic understanding or i would say it's an orientation for them they are reading the textbooks also correct make them understand and see the kind of passion because you know they are loving this kind of a network analysis which is coming in front of them number two they are seeing the reader and the terms berry which is present over them in terms of the small small berries which are formed with the kind of the colors each and everything you know they get attracted towards it when i started uh, using it for my own students i know they were so much excited to so you know i asked them go ahead 
upload your document whatever whether it is a textbook or an article whatever you want to do it go ahead either do the comparative work for me and showcase to me or do the basic work first homework was the basic work so they completed with this one then i said upload the second document and come up with your next one or multiple documents together and see the comparison how they can do it so you know slowly you can take them to the next level and you will see how beautifully they would be doing they will be using their intelligence and they love to do it now this becomes your so um, at the student level if this is finished come to the scholars level now scholars will be able to understand and see what it is and from here they can go to the next level there is so much of depth involved into understanding all these things now you know that you have reached to the correlation how to uh, move ahead with regression or that's what i said content analysis is not just the con purely the content analysis move ahead with correlation once you have got the correlation values and everything copy it and from there you can go for your further model testing uh, let's say uh, the translations of the various uh, i'm taking the example of shakespeare right now now uh, there are so many translations which are available right you can do now similarly for homer homer translations are also so different you can do it in terms of the publishers like homer published by penguin uh, homer published by oxford uh, homer published by sage how the things are coming in and how they are different now, those i would call them as models in the same manner uh, look into the various things which are present and you can understand shakespeare also from one part of his work to the next part of the work and you can differentiate them in a very nice model now choice is yours now for example i was working on the animals which are present in shakespeare's work okay and the treatment of animals how they were taking fruits vegetables food uh, dresses now you know you can do as much of uh, things that you want you can carry forward so i think i have given you you can go ahead you can work upon the scale which is present the, the minimum coverage whether you want 100 or you are looking for more you can uh, you know play with these things and uh, carry forward with your own research work also thank you thanks a lot and i think all of you must be liking it i really enjoy uh, these kind of things uh, in my own research work and i say alleluia you know so that makes my work interesting so let's move ahead with yet another uh, discovery and more to add on now you see content analysis on one side on the other side the text so i'm introducing simultaneously various things so that you are able to come up and start researching for your own reasons also thank you for watching take care bye